I'm here to talk about uh, adding color to PCBs. So first, who am I? So I'm Ben Shoff, I write for Hackaday, I never miss a beat, I'm lightning on my feet, and that's what they don't see, mm -mm. and that's what they don't see, mm -mm. I'm dancing on my own, make the moves up as I go, and that's what they don't know, but I keep cruising, won't stop, can't stop grooving, it's like I got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be all right. Okay, that out of the way. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, s multiple colors on, there's more, sp there's chairs, people, come on, okay. So, I'm going to talk about uh, PCB solder mask colors and why you should care. So, recently I had a project where I was uh, talking about art, and I sent out a few of these to Seed. Uh, normally, when you order some PCBs from Seed or PCB Way or whatever, you have the option of six colors. You've got uh, green, blue, red, yellow, black, and white. So, for each of these solder mask colors, uh, you got four different shades. Up at the top, um, you have solder mask with copper underneath, solder mask without copper underneath, uh, bare copper, which is tin or gold plated, and then fiberglass. So, so with that constrained palette, what can you get? Um, over the last few years, PCB art has gone just crazy either probably due to badges and and XOR. So, um, and so for artistic PCBs, we got stuff like this, which this is, is this Twinkle Twink? Yep. Yeah, okay, so these are both Twinkle Twink. Um, for the Krusty the It, the hair is uh, copper, uh, and you have a white solder mask, and or white silk screen and a red solder mask, and if you look at the mouth, the tongue, you have two different shades there. The tongue has copper underneath it and the rest of the mouth doesn't. The Pikachu, yellow solder mask is terrible, uh, but um, for the stripe on the back, you have just plain fiberglass and you have the black solder mask up, up there at the ears. Uh, this is, who is this? Let's see, this is Potato Nightmare, uh, Shy Guy. Again, it's just standard PCB colors. So at red, you have the stripe, uh, on the holding the mask on, it doesn't have copper underneath it, and you have some gold there for the belt buckle. So, oh yeah, um, we have these Tindy PCBs, which you all have. So again, just standard solder mask colors. It's art, or at least something. So, uh, but there are limitations. For full color PCBs are possible, but they're hilariously expensive. So this is an Aladdin Sane Tindy pin we did. Uh, there's only three of these. One, I'm wearing one and the other one's up on the badge wall and I have no idea where the third one is. So this was done by a company called MakerNet out of Shenzhen. Uh, the Bowie pin was really just an experiment with MakerNet. They needed somebody to test out their full color PCB process and wanted free advertising. And I wanted something cool and I can give them free advertising. So it works out for everybody. I have zero idea how this was made, they, they just won't tell me. If I had to guess, it would be a direct, sub, direct to substrate PCB printer. And this is one you can get on AliExpress for three grand. It's doing phone cases now. Um, it's basically an inkjet with UV curable PCB and uh, a UV light and a movable Z axis. Um, that's three grand if somebody wants to do the experiment, that's cool. I've seen ones that do skateboard decks, um, like five skateboard decks at the same time. That's like 20 grand. But uh, given that we don't need full color, we just need a color. I, that is what this machine does. It's called a pad printer. So what is pad printing? Uh, this is a pen I stole from the Vatican post office. An hour later, my phone died with the Pixel 2 black screen issue, so God's real. He's Catholic, and he uses Comic Sans. <laughs> so, how did they put that text on that pen? Like, it's round. How can you, how do, how do you do that? Um, so, basically, this is a video. How, the, how does the video play? Oh. 
This is a video I just pulled from YouTube. Basically what you're looking at here is a metal plate that wipes ink across the plate and there's recesses in the plate. There's a silicone pad that presses down and then moves over and just stamps the pen. And that's literally every piece of swag you've ever gotten that has a logo or a name on it has pretty much had this. Um, let's see. Anything that's not beer koozies. So, uh, first experiment with uh, pad printing is I made a bunch of Tide Pods. Um, actually, these are a blockchain of Tide Pods. This was one of the shitty add-ons I distributed along with the Mr. Robot badge for this year's DEF CON. And the basic idea is to make a game out of eating Tide Pods because that's what the cool kids are doing. Um, on the back, there is a four-pin header for the shitty add-on connector and an I-squared CE prom. And that's loaded up with a unique serial number. And you plug the Tide Pod into your Mr. Robot badge. The serial number is stored in a linked list that includes a hash of the previous item in the list. So it's a blockchain of Tide Pods. You're welcome. Um, how I made this is I just drew up a square in Illustrator and made two identical, identical but rotated 180 degree swirls in blue and orange, and then I just whipped up a Eagle PCB very easily. And there you see both layers, and there's copper actually underneath both of the swirls. So um, to do the pad printing is I made one pad or one plate and put blue on, ran 300 Tide Pods, and then cleaned everything up, filled it up with orange ink. So we're going to see how that works really quick. And let's see. Okay, so for this project, this is technically a demo, so I need to show off some pad printing on stage. So Ooh. the design can yeah, I know. Woo. The design constraints are something everybody wants, which everybody wants the cute tindy pens, and something that uses standard PCB colors for most of the design. The biggest limitation with this process is the actual amount of area you can print. This is, I, I believe it is the smallest machine you can possibly buy that does pad printing. Um, it'll do about 60 or 70 millimeters across. So you can do a 60 or 70 millimeter square. Um, but they go up to, I think they go up to like 300. There might be some that do t-shirts. So. Um, the Joe Kim, the fabulous Hackaday Tindy illustrator came up with this and it's KISS. It's great. Um, so a few things, uh, the only thing here are, except for the lips, Paul's lips and Jean's tongue are white, black and silver. Very easy. I could use green for Peter Chris, be, but nobody cares about Peter Chris. Um, <laughs> This I turned into a panel with a Gerber panelizer by, what's that guy's name? This is not rocket science? It's not rocket science? It's not rocket science, but he has a great tool that just takes Gerbers and throws them into a panel, end up with something like this. And this is what the board house sent me back when I forgot to remove that one layer of red in the Gerbers. So this is actually what seed sees when they look at your boards. It's in English. Um, let's see. So we got the panels, and after a few weeks, I have a few hundred of these. The only thing I need to do is make a plate for the pad printer and put some ink on these tindies. So let's see. Um, the key here is to do the, all the colors in a, as a Gerber. So whatever tool you're using, if you're using Eagle, KiCad, use it as a Gerber. You can export your Gerber as a postscript and everything prints as a postscript. So there we have the lips and the tongue on the plate right there. So, um, give me the mic, there we go. So demo time. Okay, so what we got here is a pad printer. There are 
basically four parts of this. There's a silicone squishy pad. If you want to come up here, you can touch the side, don't touch the bottom. You have a platen, an ink cup, which is a metal thing that has a ceramic ring on it that is very, very sharp that draw that scrapes the um, ink off of it. And yeah, the plate itself is, I think, called a cliche in the parlance. Um, exporting as, when you come up, you can see it's just printing on a, yeah, printing on a transparency. Um, this is a photolithographic plate. You put the, take this, drop it on a photolithographic plate. You turn it on the UV for 920 seconds, however long that is. You turn it off, you wash it off with water and you just load up the ink cup and you start making tinties. So, yeah. Now everybody here gets to make their own kiss tindy. Yeah. So we want a demo? Hey, Magenta, make a tindy. Make a tindy. Yeah, you gotta do it. So here we got just uh, bare panels, no red on it. And you slide it in here. Oh, crap. Okay, just... Done? Don't put my fingers in here. No, just pull it, pull it back. No, pull it back. Eh, that way? Towards you. Towards you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Hold that. Had some harbored anger I didn't realize. <laughs> no. yeah, right. I'm sorry, I broke your jam. We need more screws? No. Okay. How about I hold it and yeah. you do it? Okay. <laughs> We don't need that. So you put, you have ink in a tiny little depression here. You press the pad down. That's not lined up. Gently pull towards yourself. <laughs> and there we go. We got a kiss tindy. All right. So we got, I got 400 of these things to make. So everybody's got to get busy here. So come on up. Line on up.